Hey, I'm Al Corlin. Thanks very much for joining me. I am in Vancouver, British Columbia right now. We're doing some interviews with some of the executives uh, of the companies that are sponsors on our website. And our newest uh, is a company called Ethos Capital Corp. Uh, my guest, however, Gary Freeman, uh, is not the newest. I've known Gary for close to 10 years, probably. Gary is the president of a company also called Pediment Gold Corp, uh, which my wife and I own shares in. And I have to say, in the interest of full disclosure, I also own shares in Ethos uh, that we purchased out of the market. So, Gary, let's talk about Ethos. Well, thanks, Al. Thanks for having me on again. Ethos is a company that was developed a while back, and the intentions initially when we first started with Pediment was to have a company in western Mexico primarily in a gold belt, and something to work with in eastern Mexico. And as you know, the structures in Mexico run west gold, and as you move east, you get into more silver, lead, sure. and zinc. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we were working on a, a company called uh, Ethos, as you mentioned, and it became a shell. We built it. I wasn't planning on building it initially. It just kind of came about. And I went to my friends at Cardero and talked to them about some of the projects that they had gotten through Anglo. Mm -hmm. Anglo-American, and these were some of the projects that I felt had real potential. They are in primarily the Silver Belt, Penasquito is in the Silver Belt, there are some other companies, uh, Nika, another big deposit in the Silver Belt, and these are areas that are really interesting to me because uh, Peter Maga has got companies in the area, there's a lot of really big things that have gone on in that area, and also companies like Penoli's built their uh, their wealth and, and their practices on those types of trends. So we felt it was something that would be uh, worth working at. And since we've been set up in Mexico for quite some time, it was easy to just step into this into this role. Okay. Now, so Ethos is basically an exploration stage silver company. That's correct. Okay. Where, where are we right now in terms of uh, asset delineation? Well, we started off with two projects. One, the Santa Teresa project, which is in more the copper belt on the eastern side of Mexico. And that project, we've started to do some work on it, but you know, really, well, the, the, the truth is that's a very, very large project, and we think it just might be too big for Ethos. So we've kind of moved away from there for the time being. Primary focus currently is on a project called Corellis. It is a carbonate replacement system. It is once again in that silver structure, and we're seeing great, uh, great numbers at surface. What we did was we ran a surface sampling program, which is obviously the first thing you do. Uh, we then wanted to run, we got some great samples. We saw lead zinc in the eight to 12 percent combined category. We saw silver as almost as much as a half a kilo in some areas, but the idea was to go back and run a proper uh, surface sampling program, which we did. At that point, we went back to run some IP. Fortunately, the overburden was conductive, and so we never got a chance to really see anything at depth. And what we wanted to do was take a good shot at the property, so we decided to drill 40 shallow uh, air track holes to see what happens and these went down to about 30 meters. We saw some good numbers in a lot of these holes, probably 30 of 40 and so we are going to start to drill a core program there sometime in the next two weeks. In the next two weeks, yeah. okay. So we have now the idea, the idea that, let me rephrase that, indications are right now that there is an asset of substance there. That's correct. We're going to go on, we're going to do more exploratory drilling, I, I would almost call it development stage drilling. And then well, actually, you're right in the first kind. It's really exploratory drilling. But what's really important is that district is really, really an interesting district. Uh, so much that getting ground in that area is very hard to do. I think in what we're looking at is additional properties in the area because we want to build up a portfolio of properties in that trend, much like we did with Pediment in the La Herradura trend uh, or in the, in the, in the, in the Megashire. Sure. And so the idea is the same basic principles with this company. Um, it it's been a little more difficult to get the types of projects we want simply because this area of Mexico, uh, Zacatecas, Durango, all the way up to Chihuahua is basically staked end to end, side to side. But with the market being slow over the last couple of years and a lot of the companies have picked up a lot of projects in Mexico, and you've got to remember tax time is coming very soon and we think we'll see a number of projects come up for grabs. Mm -hmm. So we have a number of Peritos we're working with and a number of geologists we're working, at, uh, working with at, at finding more projects and I think we'll come up with things this, this winter. Meanwhile, we'll be drilling and working at Corrales for the next two to three months. How active is the program down there? 
Uh, right now, we finished the air track drilling. We are having, we actually have major, uh, it's a drilling company down there surveying the ground to put the core rig to work in about the next two weeks. So we'll probably drill a small program, possibly a thousand meters of core uh, over the next, let's say, three weeks, uh, starting probably the first of, no, actually, you know what, it starts next weekend, now that I think about it. So it'll be, I'd say, the 28th, 29th. Mm -hmm. uh, 30th of August and it should go to about the 10th, 15th of September and from there we'll have a look at the assays and uh, figure out what we do from there. Yeah. How do you fix with capital? You have to uh, but no, no, we have about 19 million shares out and about three and a quarter million dollars in the bank. Okay, so so no no dilution for the No dilution, future. no, no, not, not, for, for, not for the foreseeable future. Okay. You know, I know we're talking about ethos, but in terms of pediment, what's going on there? Well, just quickly, because we haven't updated this for a while, you know, we've been very immersed in the scoping study, which has come out, and the uh, numbers were fantastic. The company was very pleased with them, and we got a lot of calls from some of the analysts and some of the people who have been watching the company over the last while, and were very excited about the numbers. The IRR was about 33%, so this is a wow. very quick payback. Um, we're looking at about 82,500 ounces a year at start. We think the metallurgy programs we're running currently will bring that up and we can possibly get to where we really want to be from a, a, a target standpoint and that's at 100,000 ounces a year. That said, we've been drilling now for the last two months. We're into it about uh, 10,000 meters so far. We'll be coming out with some drill holes here shortly. Uh, we're pretty excited about it and things are going very well. So we expect to see some more um, activity in the, in, the, uh, in, the, in the field here going through September, October, November, but not only drilling things such as acquiring additional water rights, more land which we'll need for the program area, and uh, hopefully some additional exploration drilling south downtrend on uh, two zones that we're looking at and of course our famous El Triumfo zone sure. which is now being mapped and sampled. So there's a lot going on. Pediment's got a lot to offer over the next two or three or four months with respect to news and we're now just getting the news out that's being developed over the last two months. Okay, there you have it. Pediment Gold Corp with assets in western Mexico, Ethos Capital Corp with solar assets in eastern Mexico. Correct. A couple of very interesting situations. Gary's been in the business a long time. He has surrounded himself with some very, very competent people, most of whom uh, I, I know quite well. In the interest of full disclosure, Kathy and I, my wife and I, own shares, which we bought out of the market in both Pediment Gold Corp uh, and in Ethos Capital Corp. Gary, thanks so much, buddy. Thanks.